I'm going to show you a way to quickly order your Active Directory domain to check for any privileged user accounts. By privileged, I mean any account that is a member or has been a member of a group such as domain admins or any of the built-in security groups that provide elevated permissions to administer an Active Directory domain. So to start, I'm going to open up my Active Directory users and computers. And then under view, I'm going to make sure advanced features is ticked. Once that's ticked, I'm going to open up a user account, which is currently a member of a security group, which has elevated permissions. In this case, the group is domain admins. And then if we come over to the attribute editor, we can see that we've got an attribute called admin count, and that is currently set to one for this user account. Now, if I come over to a user that has never been a member of any security groups, which have administration permissions, and then come over to my attribute editor, we can see that the admin count is currently not set. Now, the reason this one is set to one is because it is a member of domain admins, which is a privileged group, which Microsoft adds additional protections on by default. And there is a process called SD prop, which I'll link a document for in the description, which changes this admin count to one. Identifying this user account is in some way privileged. Now, if I come over to an account that is currently not a member of domain admins, but this used to be a member, and then come over to my attribute editor, we'll see that the admin count is still set to one. Now, even though I've removed this user account from domain admins, this admin count doesn't get reset. So if it's ever been in a privileged security group, this counter will be incremented to one and then it won't be reset. So what we can do is we can use PowerShell to query this admin count attribute to see what user accounts that is currently set to one for. So if I open up a PowerShell on my domain controller and then run the following commands, which is get dash ad user dash filter and then admin account is equal to one. And then we can just format that to a table and then pull back the name, the SAM account name, and if the account is enabled. So if we run this, we can see that we've currently got four user accounts. We've got the built-in administrator account. We've got our current admin account, our previous admin account, which I've just shown. And then we've got our KRB TGT account. Now, what we can also run is get dash AD group with the same filter. And then what this will return is a list of security groups, which Microsoft have identified as privileged in some way. So these provide permissions which are elevated. So additional security permissions are applied to users that are within these groups. Now, the way I use this is that any user that gets returned in this first get AD user query, the user account should never be a standard daily user accounts. It should always be someone's dedicated administrator account because if they have been flagged and their admin count has been incremented, it's because they've previously been or currently are in a elevated security group. So the account technically can do more damage to a domain if it is compromised, even if it has been removed from the group. So what I would recommend doing, which is what I do, is I audit this list and then I go through and delete every account that is in here. So if a standard user account gets returned within this list, I go through and essentially I delete it and then recreate the user, a standard account, which has no administration permissions, which is just used on a daily basis to do work. And then they get a secondary and sometimes a third admin account, which if they need to administer the domain, they can log in using their elevated account and not their standard daily account. So this is just a quick way that you can query your Active Directory domain to find out any user accounts that are in elevated security groups such as the administrators, domain admins, enterprise admins, server operators, that type of security group.